Okay, it just happens to be uh, Saturday afternoon. Uh, uh, let's see, October 26th, 2013. Three days before the anniversary of... Was it the 29th or the 30th for Sandy? For what? Sandy! What do you mean, for what? San, uh, oh, Hurricane, uh, I mean, Tropical Storm Sandy. You know, they've been, no wonder the news people have been talking about Sandy constantly locally. They're talking about how catastrophic it was. It was only Category 1. What if, what if it was... Uh, I don't think it even was that when it hit us. What, what if we lived on the Gulf of Mexico no. and, or, or South Florida or uh, or like in, in the Philippines they got hit with two bad no I'm sorry they got hit with one big typhoon followed by two seven point whatever Richter scale earthquakes yeah Japan just had another one an earthquake earthquake well yes. Japan has earthquakes All every, time. every day I well think. it had the earthquake and then they expected it to tsunami Another tsunami. No, that only happens when there's an earthquake at the bottom of the Pacific. The bottom well, of the ocean. Well, it certainly didn't occur on top of a mountain. Well, the 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 wave effect, the ripple effect, uh -huh. is not going to happen from a land-based earthquake. It, it, what happened during the last tsunami is that there was an earthquake well, in the Japan Pacific. Japan is an island. A volcanic. So I would say no, I that the earthquake occurred under the sea, 20,000 leagues under the sea. Well, to, to, to uh, shine a little education on, on, you, on, on you people, uh, Japan is a volcanic island like New Zealand. It's, uh, it looks very similar. And, um, you New know... New Zealand is two islands. Japan is a bunch of islands. Well, you have the, the main island, and you have a uh, northern island of Hokkaido, Hokkaido, where which you know, Hi. it's Hai, Hai. Hai. yeah, it's it, it's Sapporo is the capital of Hokkaido. I mean, it's the major city. Uh, you know, that's where they they fish for all those king crabs and snow crabs, and uh, oh. you know, it snows there. It's cold, and uh, yeah, it's an island, but they're volcanic islands, like like your typical Pacific uh, Ocean islands. They're volcanic islands. Uh, uh, as opposed to coral atolls, like well, that is the uh, what? Did, what do they call it? The ring, where all that activity the takes place. The ring of fire. Ring of fire. Yeah. Well, oh, Johnny Cash. Johnny Cash. Yeah. Burning ring of fire went down, 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 and the flames get higher. Burns, burns, burns the ring of fire, the ring of fire. Welcome. I'm sorry we neglected you people. You're wondering who the hell are these guys? They just start come out of nowhere. They just come out of nowhere and That's start right. yakking, you know, like at the cockroaches at the beginning. When you turn the light off at the beginning of the show. We uh, scatter. When, when you turn the light on, yeah, they scatter. Not scatter. when you turn the light off. <laughs> We're talking about the invasive species. I, I think they call it the German cockroach. <gasps> Uh, and also the uh, the Norwegian brown rat is the common sewer rat. But anyway... What about the Republicans? Speaking of sewer rats... Because they work well in the dark, too. Yeah, because they don't do anything. When, 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 when yeah, you, that was the wrong choice of words when, you when I said work. When you repeal in the dark, when you, when you do nothing in the dark, then people cannot see that you're loafing. They would make they they would they should start a bakery chain because they're the best loafers around. You know. What was that? What? Oh, that was Bud Abbott and Lou Costello. Oh, uh, I'm a loafer. Ha <laughs> ha Uh, you need something like I need dough. You need uh, you you want to? They were talking. He he wanted a birthday cake made. Yeah yeah yeah, bacha galoop. No, yeah, he played a baker, <laughs> and uh, he's talking about, you know, the recipe of whatever he was baking, and he says you need, you got, you got to start off with dough. You need dough. He says, oh yeah, I need dough. You know, and then, they, you know, they were going back and forth. Yeah. The baker meant on first. Made, made meant real dough, and Costello meant money, and it was yeah, who's on first? And it just went back and forth. It was 
Funny as hell. <laughs> I'm sorry, people. Welcome to Progressive Discussions. I'm your host, James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21, the hardest hitting internet talk radio station on the planet. And I'm here at the Newsletter Censored Research Center in Northeastern New Jersey. And I will formally pipe aboard my illustrious co-host and mentor and the very founder of Newsletter Censored in 1977 with my authentic bosun's whistle. Welcome aboard our progressive liberal starship, the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisman. How are you feeling this week, sir? Very good, very good. Good, good. It's, a, it's, a, it's crisp autumn weather. It's windy, it's cold, uh, or chilly for those of you that live in Alaska and, you know, <laughs> just a tad bit chilly. Yeah, everything you know, is relative. Yeah, northern Minnesota, North Dakota. Yeah, it's relative. Alberta, Canada. It's, it's all relative. But um, let me start. Oh, by the way, uh, William H. Morrow III apologizes to all of us. He, he cannot be with us this week because he, uh, he had to fly out. It was uh, some kind of emergency situation. He had to fly out to the West Coast uh, for business purposes. But he will, you know, I guess, yeah, he will be with us next week. So no William Morrow. Um, after our break. It's, it's just going to be us. You're going to have me and the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisman for the entire show. <gasps> at, least nobody would in, then. at least nobody would interrupt me a thousand and one times. Well, may, well, you interrupt me a little bit, but not as bad as well, you know, Billy there's Bones. A, you know. There's a, uh, if you are doing what you call free form radio and yeah. that kind of stuff. There's no interruptions. There is well, additions, there is add-ons, there's yeah. you know, that's the kind of a banter that Well, you know, you know forth. when we brought up the subject of uh, Japan's earthquakes Japan. that it's a volcanic island, I was trying to explain to the people about volcanic islands in the Pacific. You know, we got sidetracked. But anyway, you know, I like to uh, I like to uh, start off with explaining the basics to people before I get into the story. You know what I mean? I like them to understand what's going on. I know there's a lot of people out there that are totally clueless about everything. Uh, I was driving here and um, of course I see this all the time. People opening the doors to their vehicles and they get inside and they're sitting there and, and, and their, their, their doors their car uh, driver's side door is wide open and it, take, and it takes them a little while to realize duh maybe I should shut the door before another car comes and clips it off yeah, you see that commercial and I've seen a car lose uh, somebody lose their door to that there's a commercial uh, I think it's I'm not it's for an insurance company it might be farmers I'm not sure but farmers uh, don't yeah. There's a girl, there's a lady inside the car. Yeah. She opens the car door, driver's side, and she's yeah. parked. So it's a main drag, whatever. Right. And she leans over into the other seat, and the car comes down, and the door's right off. Clips uh, the door right off. I personally saw it happen to a, a, a young, you know, 20 something female with a new vehicle, brand Ooh. new car. And she just didn't look, and she opened up her her driver's side door to get in there or whatever or come out. I don't I don't remember which way she was go coming or going, but uh, it clipped it right off and went flying up in the air. Believe, you know you can't. I mean, you can't just open the door suddenly without checking for the oncoming traffic. But what I'm trying to say is, there are more idiots and nincompoops today than ever before in history and just like there's more scammers out there today than ever before I, there isn't a day that goes by where I hear about new scammers with new tricks up their sleeve and then the old scammers are doing their thing and they're they're all over on the internet I'm getting bombarded 
with people pretending to be nice people that want to be your friend and they end up being some scammer from Ghana or Nigeria, Africa, yeah. trying to, uh, you know, uh, get sucker uh, uh, Americans to wire their, them money. And uh, for people that are on dating websites, they're just it's saturated. Certain dating websites, especially ones that are free, saturated with these scammers with fake profiles. But other than that, there are just so many scammers with so many new types of scams that I I honestly think there's a force uh, behind the scenes that tries to think up new ways to dupe people out of their money. It's they, it's almost like the they have a, a a school where they, they you know, or, or or a bunch of executive scammers that sit around a big table, you know, and just think up new ways to rob people. And we're not even talking about politicians. We're talking about yeah, they got it down pat. Professional, I well, rob people. They got it down pat. It's called the corporations and the rich. Send, lo up. send lobbyists to Washington and uh, and say uh, hey I'll campaign money when you when you run for re-election but uh, you got to vote our way you got to pass you got you got to do things our way mm -hmm. and uh, we'll give you plenty of money and that's mm -hmm. it and they take it take the money and run and they do what's right for the elitists and the corporations because they owe them favors and of course all these stupid idiot moron red state uh, right wingers these tea baggers are so stupid you know yeah, they believe they're going to be billionaires one day so protect those for rich you know oh but you mean the, I'm going to be there oh, one day oh you mean the job creators yeah the That's job creators joke. my yeah, right. ass so they're voting against their best interests That's you know right. because a republican definitely does not have the middle class and the poor's best interest but they it's almost like they're 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 in a in a in an evil spell of their own cult, their own pseudo Christianity, so to speak. Well, they already have that. They, you know, they're phony. Their Christianity yeah. is phony. But the point of that is that they are they are what you would call for the individual. They hate anything that has the word community togetherness yeah well individual anything like that that's why they hate socialism and communism because it is a group they, thing they don't like teamwork oh no. they, they don't like a team approach they no. don't like a community a group I guess that's where the word commune came from that's they don't good. like the community they don't like people sharing ah. people working together ah. they don't they don't like to share a Republican is like a spoiled little kid that won't share his toys with his, his little brothers and sisters and cousins. Mm -hmm. That's mine. I got mine. That's mine. Go get your round, boy. You can't. You can't play with my toy. That's right. And uh, selfishness is uh, a big part of uh, not the God of the it's Bible. They made it a virtue. But it's not part of the God of the Bible. Well, of course not. But they're not either. So how could how come they're always they created their own god? Then how come they're always preaching Christianity? Even that idiot uh, uh, on Fox News. Um, you told there's, me there's only one idiot on Fox News. No, all of them. Oh. No, the one that made no, no. Shep is pretty good. In the afternoon, about three. The blonde girl, who, the woman oh, who says, uh, "Yeah, they're all Megan blonde. Kelly. They're all waspy looking." Megan Kelly. The, the one who says it, if you don't like us shoving our religion, oh, religion down your throat, uh, leave the United leave, States. Yeah. Leave. Yeah. I'll forget her name. Anyway, let's do. Let's start off with uh, some Chiseler's Hall of Shame. Okay, because we we get a lot of attention with our Chiseler's Hall of Shame because we name names. Okay, here we go. Here's a box of. Um, you know, I did not buy this. Uh, I I simply tried this as a late night snack because it's definitely not a dinner for me. <laughs> they call it Lean Cuisine. Lean Cuisine. All right, and uh, it, this is roasted turkey breast. It's called Lean Cuisine Market Collection. Roasted turkey breast with gravy, stuffing, 
with potatoes and green beans accented <laughs> with cranberries. Wow, it's that's a fancy like a, word. Uh, Thanksgiving uh, uh, meal. Well, you know, the, the, the fancy people, the people in expensive restaurants, the chefs, they don't say breaded anymore. They say encrusted. That's like calling a clay pot terracotta and raising the price. Yeah, mm. It's accented with cranberries. Accentu accentuated? Accented? Whatever. No preservatives. It says cook thoroughly. No, I want to eat this half frozen. Yeah. <laughs> 30% more food hey. than our average culinary collection. Uh -huh. Ooh, fancy words here. And they show a nice picture of what's inside. All right. Where's the cranberry? Oh, I found, I found one. And I repeat, one <laughs> cranberry. Because I don't see it segmented there. You no, know, see, you see. There's usually segments for each. No, portion. you see where the you see the green beans. Yeah. You see those red, those red round things. I see two. Well, let me so, let me let me tell you something. I gotta look up the word accented because I found one whole cranberry, which was the size of my pinky nail. I found one whole cranberry. <laughs> Well, you can't say they lied. You there's know? there's three cranberries in the green beans. <clears throat> I mean, we're joking, but this is really this also is serious. This is upsetting. I see three cranberries, but I had I found only one. Okay, and not only that. All right, the whipped potatoes were there. Nothing special, nothing to brag about. But as far as the stuffing goes, it wasn't stuffing. It was very hard, stale croutons unflavored little croutons which made up predominantly most of the dinner and guess how much turkey I found Three I found slices. four four little medallions of oh, turkey God, medallions. Bread. medallions this is how big they were about the, like each, a cookie each was the size of a, like a silver dollar Whew four of them the rest was all hard chewy stale croutons not even seasoned not even real stuffing i mean real stuffing is not a bunch of croutons shame on you nestle see i don't I know have if, something to say about i don't know that if you can see done. i don't know if you can see the the, oh, ne you're too far. the the nestle i mean the nestle word you scumbag ceo of nestle how come this does not surprise me the CEO of Nestle, who says that people on Earth do not have the right to drinking water. He Listen. also said that in a couple of years, he will not be buying his cacao from those slave laborers and etc. Child laborers and etc. I don't believe him. Well, I don't either, but why you got to wait a couple of years, Mr. Nestle? Do it now. Oh, look what it says over the word Nestle. Good food, good life. <laughs> Maybe for you, CEO of Nestle. Oh, he's got a damn good life. The market collection. Ooh, culinary collection. Collection of what? Four little medallions of turkey you breast and all stale croutons for stuff. You know your Mr. Friend, your friend Mr. Zuckerberg? My friend, that yeah. eagle beak bastard? Yeah. Mark Zuckerberg, the, you know the blood money, sucker. You know how much money he made last year? He married a cute Asian. She's probably a gold digger. Now, how much money did he... Six million dollars a day. By screwing people. By, by, by shoving... Two and a half billion a year, I think by, it was. By shoving an enormous amount of spam down people's throats. Well, whatever Facebook did, and it is Facebook's fault, I still cannot see any videos on Facebook. Glitch. I can hear audio. I can see ads when I click hey, on the video. Bones. Yeah. But I cannot see any videos. I I do, but what, what's going on? I don't know what's going on, but it has something to do, if I am correct. All right. <clears throat> it has something to do with your settings. 
that you must allow them to Im Im bombard you with ads. I have an itch in the middle of my forehead. Can I scratch it, please? You so know, no one has given me an answer anyway. As to I, I notice is. every time these free free websites upgrade and change their interface, they uh, of course they try to they tell people that it's it's a positive upgrade, but in reality they're sneaky about it because they're shoving more advertisement in every which way down your throat. You know, I mean, I mean, I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to post a comment. And I'm moving my cursor, and all of a sudden these ads this, these up. ads are coming at me from yeah. different directions. I, you know, this is corporate America. These are the same greedy bastards that are behind the Republicans, and and vice versa. All right, let me let me read off some stuff, <coughs> being that it's autumn and I am all invigorated. Mm. Um, the autumn leaves. Oh, I can only do the turkey. Okay, we did Lean Coming Cuisine. Yeah, shame on you, Nestle and Lean Cuisine. Yeah. You scumbag CEO. Okay. The six largest companies in the United States have assets of nearly $9.6 trillion, <gasps> equal to 58% of the nation's gr gross domestic product. Product. That's the first statement. Interesting. Um, okay. <clears throat> Don't forget, it's it, that's because we have allowed them to do that with oh, yeah. our trickle up, siphon up. Okay. Tri uh, go. Uh, yeah, because it don't trickle. That's for no, damn sure. No, it don't sure. trickle. Siphon. I mean, it's a flow, no, baby. No, it's not trickling. No, it's, it's a flood. It's a typhoon it going upwards. Trickle down economics never happened. It's uh, 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 it might drip down if you're lucky. It's mostly siphon up to the to the rich. Okay. What did giant corporations do with their trillion dollar tax cut? Number one, they bought out other companies and yeah. then downsized them, which cost U.S. jobs. Number two. That was uh, Romney's job when he was at Bain Capital. That's what he did. Mm -hmm. And uh, number two, of course, the outsourcing of U.S. jobs, which is not patriotic at all. And number three, spent millions of dollars on lobbying and campaigns to keep to keep and increase tax cuts. What didn't they do? Create jobs. That's what they did not do. Well, this propaganda seems to just have people still believe it. They they believe the bullshit. The, the hook, line, and sinker, Americans. 60 per, Sixty-four percent of all jobs are created by companies that have less than five hundred employees. Yeah. Thank you very much, General Electric. That's Exxon right. Exxon Mobil. That's right, Exxon Mobil. The very rich are paying less taxes than the people that clean their offices uh -huh. said by quote is by Warren Buffett, Buffett. his secretary paid a, 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 a larger rate than he did yeah for his taxes and yeah. they do it because they can uh -huh. because the politicians are paid off okay each year how come we don't call a bribe a bribe well, we do here. A campaign contribution well, uh, bribe. Uh, it's a bribe. Um, yeah, and, and, and subsidies and bailouts, we call them welfare for the rich. Yeah, we call them that, but nobody else calls them that. No, they don't say that on, 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 uh, oh, on uh, mainstream oh, media. Oh, jeez. Paul Ryan will get his, uh, his underwear in a bunch over uh, Social Security, but God forbid, you yeah, won't do crap but I don't, I don't think about Ed, subsidies and grants I, I don't think and corporations. Ed, I don't think Ed Schultz and Rachel Maddow are afraid to say welfare for the rich. Did they ever yes, say Yes, but it? it seems that it doesn't implant itself in the right people's mind. They don't get it. You know how many times I've, I've posted comments calling subsidies welfare for the rich 
in in in, in my battle against tea baggers. And you got a defense from the other side? No, they don't get it. Oh well, then that, that's my point. They're they not get it. getting it. Yeah. Is your brother getting it? No. 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 They don't get it. They're just not getting it. Well, it's like a, the the gentleman I told you before, who's a who's a right wing rabid conservative. Yeah, right. And, <laughs> and he says, says the other day, "Well, I'm not a Democrat and I'm not a Republican." Now, what are you? What the hell are you? you independent douchebag? Yeah, you're not independent with all this right-wing crap clapter you keep uh, blasting up in Facebook and things like that. Come on. Yeah, bullshit. Grow up, man. Okay, next. Each year... Okay, each year corporations and the wealthy are avoiding more than 100 billion uh, U.S. dollars in taxes. 100 billion dollars in the US taxes by sheltering their income offshore. Bernie Sanders said that. That's very true. It's actually more than that. That's probably a conservative exactly. amount. Avoiding more that well it does he did say more than a hundred billion dollars of money that would normally go towards US taxes. Mm -hmm. uh, tax revenue and, and yeah, offshore. They, they've been doing that from since day one. Yeah, and then of course they have their their subsi subsidiary mailbox down in the Cayman Islands. Okay, here's my solution to all of what we just said. I gotta do a little Bill Clinton. How come nobody has thought of tariffing their products from the outsourced jobs when they come back into the United States? To, 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 in a way of regaining the lost tax revenue from the rich. Or just changing the laws that benefit them. Yeah. That's pretty simple, but of course with the bribes, that ain't gonna happen. Bribes? Unless you clean house. And that I, means get rid of them all, except Bernie Sanders. Oh, he's great, man, Bernie Sanders. Get rid of them they, all. They, they, um... Well, a campaign contribution to serve, in a way. Yeah, if if the if the person who got the campaign contribution does something to benefit that corporation that gave him the bribe, and that's easy to see. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, yeah. All right. Another statement made by Bernie Sanders. Another great Bernie Sanders quote. Um. Um. Ninety-five percent of new income generated in the United States from 2009 to 2012 went to the top 1%. Uh, Bernie Sanders. There you go. Again. Yeah. They've been doing that for over 30 years. All right, Getting all the wealth upwards. Oh yeah. It's I like, mean we had, uh, uh, if I'm not mistaken, did we not a short time ago have people Occupying Zuccotti Park in New York, and I believe they were called Occupy Wall Street, and yeah. they, they were uh, showing us uh, how the one percent were doing so well, and we weren't. Yeah. Of course, I don't know what happened to them, but yeah, they were there, weren't they? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely, it's, it's just it just uh, petered out. I mean, it wasn't in. It wasn't in massive numbers like, like it was in other countries, but the U.S. media doesn't show you the, uh, the video of just how large those protests are in other countries yeah, well, against they, the fat they don't cats. Have the, uh, they don't have the spy network that we have, of course. Who Which has I the spine? Think sort we of don't have the spine. The Europeans have, other nations have spy. a spy. Oh, spy. NSA. Why Merkel is upset. Rousseff, uh, I believe that's her name, in Ag Argentina, oh, wait a minute, it's Brazil. It said it because Ber we're spying. Bernie we're spying on all the leaders of all the other countries. Ber Bernie Sanders made a recent statement that he's really upset at the way the United States is destroying the international relations with other, other people, other countries, with because of the NSA spying. This is not gonna. This hasn't sit well, sat well, 
with uh, the leaders of other countries in the world. No, it has. I would be pissed as all hell if if I but saw. But I would that. say that this is if you uh, believe Bible prophecy, this is a necessary step so that the rest <coughs> of the world will hate the United States. Isn't this called espionage? Well, espionage, e e e yeah. But it's done against the so supposed enemies of, of your country. Yeah, not your own innocent people. Not the allies of your country <laughs> and your own people. Yeah. But oh, that's gee, what now, now we got a motorcycle rider sitting here idling. I wonder if he has a bunch of... Acting guys. like a fucking tough guy, letting his motorcycle... Revving up his motorcycle during our show. I wonder if he's loaded with tattoos. Oh, he's... There sounds he like he's going somewhere. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Good riddance to bad rubbish. All right, next. Republicans want smaller government for the same reason crooks want fewer cops. Hey! James Carville. Yeah, well, at least somebody's getting it now. That's, I mean, why that's they want... what it's all about. If you got small government, or if you, you got it so small that you drowned it in a bathtub, who's going to be your bulwark against the big corporations and the rich? There's Nobody. No regulations. And why, did it, why do, do Republicans um, hate regulations? So they can, be, they can screw you more. Exactly. <laughs> That was very. That was a very good statement very by, by the Honorable uh, James Carville. Very astute of him. Yeah, hey, let me. He deserves a salute. James Carville, Bernie Sanders, Senator of Vermont, and I just want to give an extra salute to uh, the Moonbeam Jerry Brown, a, a great guy, Governor of California. Not not like the other Governor of California. California. <laughs> Okay. Who wants to be able to run for president of the United States. Yeah, he wants to change that immigration law. He Get wants, the Constitution changed. Think there's a little bit of ego with that, that guy? I would say. Well, I you know, don't you have to have a, a lot of ego to do Misty Olympia and all that kind of crap? Of course. Of course. Look at my body. I'm seven uh. times Mr. Olympia. You know, Arnold Schwarzenegger, he, I, if he ever gets elected president, he should hire Mildred Pena to clean the Oval Office. <laughs> Mildred Pena should clean the Oval Office and clean something else, too. <laughs> clean his pipe now and then. Yeah. You know? Well, he has to be involved with Mildred Pena. He has a son by her. Oh. Mm. Nice shot. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, might as well give her a job cleaning the Oval Office. And then she could clean his, his, his uh, as we say in Italian, upipa, the there pipe. Yeah, the little pipe. You know, I found out something through uh, an interview, interview I had with a, a po folk uh, collecting uh, social services, uh, welfare in the state of New Jersey, uh, along, you know, with having a Medicaid card, which incidentally, I think they made the requirements tougher, you mm -hmm. know, if you make over seven hundred dollars a month you're too rich you're too rich to have Medicaid I guess they figure you can afford your own health insurance give me a break fat fuck Chris Christie and you know a hundred and forty they give these poor people a hundred and forty dollars a month in New Jersey for as welfare and then they and then they tell people really they tell people well you know some states in the united states do not have welfare you should be thankful mississippi you should be thankful you're getting 140 a month what mississippi has the poorest kids in the country they don't have welfare 71 percent they don't have welfare if they have it it is so chiseled down it's pathetic where do they give them a bucket of crawdads uh, every month Crawdad heads. Crawdad hey, heads. suck this out. Hey, suck the head, man. Suck the head. Suck the head. <laughs> well, those southern states are all cheap. What about the kudzu? What about the, the, the sacred kudzu states like the North Carolina? Uh, South Carolina. Real, real red states. They were, they're all cheap as far as red yeah. welfare is concerned. But guess what? Guess what the caseworker never told this individual? Uh -oh. That there's a um, a privatized auto insurance program 
through the government, through the state, and you know anybody who who has like a a Medicaid card and who's collecting welfare can get this auto insurance, which is only one dollar per day. I checked that out last night and got no information whatsoever. I guess got crap pop ups and all this other junk. Well, I it was nothing. There was a yeah. But wait a minute. There was nothing. a there was a link which listed the providers in your area you, you click on the county and you get all the the insurance agents that deal with that program and then you call them and you give them your uh, your Medicaid number or whatever your situation and they tell you yay or nay well I'll believe it when I see it I think I, I don't know if I sent you that link you sent me the Th link two, I went there last night I there's, said. there's two in Hasbro kites on the boulevard and there's one in Lodi insurance but anyway to me it's a come on anyway the no that was a legitimate state uh, uh, web page web I'll link. see it when I believe it I'll believe it when I see it I know somebody who's who has a that. dollar a day yes come yes on. yes yeah don't be so negative all the time I am a dollar Prove a day all things hold fast that which is good a dollar a day my friend okay a dollar a day. It's it's real. I'm the show me guy. It's damn real. Like I like should have been like, born in Missouri. Like Kurt Angle says, it's real. It's damn real. I am real. Let me tell you. The person had it for this is like the second year now. Uh -huh. It's a dollar a day. But you gotta be a po folk. Po folk. Po folk. Woo! Okay, now after all this yakking we've been Jibber doing. Jibber now it's time to hear. Well, we're still going to yak. It's going to be jibber We're not going to do. We're not going to be staring at each other in silence. But now it's time to sink our teeth into these readings. And 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 we have like fifteen minutes before your lunch, right? Somewhere's around there. Yeah. Well, sink your teeth, brother. Sink your teeth. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Beef and seafood are often eaten raw. That's true. Oh, this is the debut for 2013 uh, and, for, two, and 14, actually, of my scarf. Me wearing me scarves. Why not chicken? Is it a taste issue or are there more health risks? The health risk with the chicken. Salmonella. Uh, they do. You can eat beef raw. You know, as in like steak tartare, or there's a certain uh, thinly sliced Japanese raw beef marinated that you can eat. Um, um, but a chicken, no, chicken, no. And uh, in sushi, uh, eel has to be cooked. Oh, uh, oh stop it! Get me sick a right very, before it's my a meal. Very, it's a very rich source of omega three. See, eel makes him squeal, <laughs> and that's a bad deal. Oh boy. I'm a poet and I don't know it. And all before my meal. Uh, uh, but no, it's true because the, uh, the eel is a uh, can live in brackish water, fresh water. You you can't make you can't eat raw freshwater fish because of bacterial level. You know, in the ocean you have a lot of salt, so salt is antibacterial. It's risky to eat any kind of raw meat. But the intestines of perfectly healthy chickens commonly contain a bacteria that causes fever, diarrhea, and abdominal cramps in humans. So if the meat hasn't been cleaned to unreasonable perfection, it must be thoroughly cooked to avoid illness. Not that raw chicken is all that appetizing, though chicken sushi actually exists. It does? It does. I won't eat it. I love sushi, but I won't eat chicken sushi. But this may be one of the reasons we've never learned to enjoy it. You got some moron out there with his stereo system. Unbelievable. Yeah, uh, no, I'll pass on the raw chicken. But, uh, definitely. Uh -huh. Isn't it funny how how uh, uh, wild predators like the big cats can eat all sorts of raw meat and never get sick? 
Yeah, well, they have the uh, the uh, bacteria or whatever in their bodies to, uh, you know, do away with that. Yeah, they got they something. They have that man. ability. Because... Um, dogs to some extent. Because dogs will eat shit. I, they are coprophagic. I... What does that mean? They'll eat shit. If they eat shit and they don't die. Why? Yeah, why? Well, why uh, I, you know what? I think that proves that cats might be smarter than dogs. Because cats don't eat shit. No. They're more finicky. Why on earth would a dog, even a dog that's fed dog food, why on earth would they eat shit? Who knows? A lot of dogs are stupid. What evil lurks in the heart? They're not all smart. Like like drinking out of uh, the toilet? That too. But that's the people's fault. Yeah, I blame the o the human owners yeah. uh, on many uh, issues, uh, like failing to get their animals neutered or spayed, uh, allowing them to just take over the house and, and sleep on the bed and sleep on the sofa. You know, the, there are people who treat their pets like they were children, literally, you know, so. And there's a lot, there's a lot of little dogs nowadays. I'm starting to see people with little dogs, Yorkies, Chihuahuas, Dachshunds, like, like, they're coming out of the woodwork, pub, toy poodles. Did you see that uh, picture on Facebook the other day of the Chihuahuas? They were missing their front uh, legs, and they were all in, had wheels and hind legs. So oh, so, so, so normally they would put us, they would put them asleep, they would euthanize an animal like that. But today, these people want to put wheels on their pets so that they don't they don't have to put them to sleep. And it's kind of cruel. I wonder when they kind of cruel for the animal. I wonder when they put the wheels on them, are they no longer disabled? Well, if there was if there were humans, they would they would lose their social exactly. security dis oh. disability checks. Yes, they would. Yes, they would. Because they're no longer disabled. They got wheels underneath. There them. you go. There you go. I mean, I saw a video, and it was so cute, of English bulldogs that knew how to uh, use a skateboard. They would carry the skateboard in their mouth, put it down, get on, on top of it, and kick with their two legs on one side, and just start whizzing down the street. Uh, in line with what I and Aesop, or whatever, exposed years ago about the Social Security Administration where they will automatically deny a first-time claimant. Play the numbers game. The number is 71 percent of they new, deny. Of new claimants. Of new claimants. It might even be higher than that. By policy. That, well that's what they just By found out the policy. other day. policy. It's a policy. Yes. It's automatic. A, it's a policy that is not normally uh, told to the American public. Correct. It's not a fair policy. It's not a nice policy. It's a government saving money policy because of the conservatives. By being a sneaky prick. Okay. And lying. and No, not lying. Keeping, withholding information from the American people. But if the government wants information from you, oh, they want a lickety split, don't they? Mm. There's another little... Uh, Same thing if you owe money. If you owe the government money, they want it right away. If they owe you money, don't hold your breath. There's another little fly in the ointment that I'd like to uh, get out here, which I'm sure people don't understand. Uh, and I'm not sure whether it's just New Jersey or wherever. But when you apply for, like, heating assistance or these things in New Jersey... Yeah, Lifeline, PAAD, and all They want to. you to... They want you, if you have life insurance. Yeah. Whole life insurance. Right. You have to find out the surrender value of your policy. You mean if somebody wanted to liquidate their life insurance policy? Correct. They count that as income. But that's your life insurance policy. That's correct. So it is not income, because if you croak... And you ain't got no insurance. 
How are you going to pay the funeral? Exactly. What are they going to do? Put you in a. But tub these are the little things that they do. Put you in a so rubber made, in a rubber made container, and and burp the air out, and just bury you that way. Or? These are the things that they do so that they won't have to pay you or give you as much as you are entitled to. But if you're a corporation, oh, or, give or, them all they want. Or rich, you name your price. We'll give it. Then go. it's fine. The handouts are fine if you're a corporation. Yeah. You see how, how how hypocritical they are in the United States. And I'm sure Pol politics. I'm sure that 95 percent of them would call themselves Christian. That's another joke. Big, Big joke. Biggest hypocrisy of all. Big joke. Because uh, what they believe in has nothing to do with the God of the Bible. Finish it up, brother. Speaking of Obamacare. Yeah, a lot of people are really confused about Obamacare. And they're and they're distorting. The right wingers are distorting Obamacare. Yeah, well. Not only were the healthcare software designers not surprised that the debut of the Affordable Care Act was flawed, but anyone who has been reading and listening to extremist publications and <laughs> talk radio unfortunately people are listening to them were also well aware of the same signs that worried the website designers anyone who was surprised at the failed debut of Obamacare will also be shocked at the ultimate cost of their insurance rates hmm. the rise in their copay and deductibles and the fact that their favorite doctors will no longer be willing to take care of them. Mm -hmm. There are also deep infrastructure problems that are not being reported on, such as if and when I'm able to sign up and put all my personal health and identification information on this website, will it be secure? Will it? If these facts were not glaringly obvious, people need to go elsewhere to receive news or they will continue to be surprised. Hmm. Well, it, it, to my last uh, uh, I saw, it cost them something like $565 million for that website. Really? It's baloney. This is garbage. Amazon didn't pay that much. eBay didn't pay that much to make their websites, and they're just working fine, thank you. They're just ripping off the government, just like uh, the military gets charged. Uh, what is it? A dollar for a screw, or more? Or as Halliburton did with KBR, a hundred dollars for a duffel bag of clothes for the soldier in Iraq, <laughs> and then sell them dirty water. You know how much? You know how much clothes uh, in Walmart you can get for a hundred bucks? Now, more, yeah, more than one duffel bag. That's for sure. They have ten. They have very good ten-dollar denim jeans, uh, Kmart and Walmart. So the, there's no way a duffel bag of clothes for a soldier costs a hundred dollars. Yeah, somebody's somebody's price gouging. I mean, somebody's ripping off somebody. Well, that's what it was all about. The private contractors had a jubilee in Iraq. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, so anyway, our our two uh, yeah our two inductees into the Chisler's Hall of Shame for this week would of course be the Nestle Corporation with Lean Cuisine and the State of New Jersey uh, uh, Board of Social Services, the uh, the welfare case workers, uh, <laughs> as it applies to what I discussed, what we discussed earlier. So you want to take a break now? Yeah, because this is a long one here about Mr. Chris. Balloon boy. Balloon boy. Our beloved governor. Yeah, beloved liar. Okay, it is time for the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman's uh, gastronomic delight known as lunch, and we will be back with us. Not William H. Morrow the third. He's away. He's busy. He's A W O L. Yeah. Oh, I mean, he's on the show when he's away, but he. he he can't be on the show. What are you going to do? It happens. It happens. Shit happens. Yeah. Hey, what's going on? No, no hurricanes this year yet. Right. Coming up here. 
We're supposed to have a busy storm season. What's going on there? Oh, no, we don't need that. Crap. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, Dr. Bill, it, it's so amazing how um, science and, you know, high technology knowledge is, is just so advancing so rapidly, mm -hmm. faster than ever before. Just like that uh, section of the Bible that mentions that knowledge Should increase. will increase rapidly in the end times. And, um,. <laughs> I mean, I can and your young shall have visions. Shall have what? Visions. Visions. And prophesy. Young. Whatever. Well, there's a lot of so-called prophets out there today, you know, and then they they have the um, the internet to promote their agenda now, where in the past they didn't have that. Um. But, I mean, technology in general, I mean, the, anything that affects the quality of our lives and raises the standard of our living. Well, the Internet hasn't done that. It, it, it got co-opted by the big corporation. Finish chewing. All I heard was... Damn it. The Internet got co-opted by the big corporations. Yes. It's promise was not realized. Okay? Yeah, well, they, they already have America's youth uh, hypnotized by, by sophisticated uh, video games that uh, incidentally can be used in this case for brainwashing purposes. Candy Crush? Andy Angry Birds? Oh, God. That's that's a drop in a bucket compared to the video games kids are getting now. And and have you seen the advertisements for the new video games? Oh, those things. They're all they're all based on uh, on war, and um, fighting a an evil force. Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, the glorifying uh, car thievery, and 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 then you have uh, 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 video games about fighting an alien invasion. Mm -hmm. Everything has to do with warfare, <clears throat> and um, the kids are addicted to it. Uh, and uh, messages in these video games could very easily brainwash the kids, and it's happening because the kids don't go out and play and commune with nature anymore like I did. Me and my friends, uh, they they they're stuck in the house because they choose to, and, and they're uh, they're just glued to the computer playing video games you know even in the public library it's mostly with the boys I never see the little girls the boys they go to the library and the parents think they're studying and they're playing video games uh -huh. well I'll tell you no discipline man this is the modern modern day parenting the product of modern day parenting I used to frequent the uh, our library a lot Okay. During the, well, actually since 1963. Yeah. And all of a sudden, in the middle 90s, mm -hmm. things underwent such a change when the computers came on board mm -hmm. in the libraries. Well, in the libraries, Back then, it was all about reading and books. And uh, microfilm. Magazines, newspapers, microfilm. But, um... Yeah, and the newspapers had a stick on them, so you couldn't walk out with them. <laughs> well, <clears throat> um, and if they don't have a particular uh, book at your public library, they could check the other libraries in the in the network, and, and they could have it sent to your library. Yep. It's a great place to study, read, do your schoolwork, you know, all for free. Uh, of course, at one time the Republicans wanted to in New Jersey wanted to shut down. I think Chris Christie wanted to shut down the public libraries. 
They again. still don't like them. Yeah, well, they, they well they they want they don't want the masses to be educated. No, they they don't like information as compared to propaganda. They, yeah, they want the masses, the mainstream, to hear propaganda, yeah. their propaganda. Yeah. And as far as getting a, a good education, they want they only want their rich, rich that's the, that's friends. That's how it kids. has been for thousands of years, and that's how they want it again. The wealthy, the children of the wealthy get the good education mm -hmm. and the, uh, the 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 mainstream population get brainwashed with propaganda and uh, they do not receive a good education and they end up uh, being a bunch of drones drones in a big corporation be a drones for some corporation mm -hmm. working as slaves mm -hmm. working as slaves yeah That's the American dream. Well, the American dream that we were taught is for the rich. But they, they made it sound like it was for all of us. <laughs> and you know what? The teabaggers still say that this is the land of opportunity for everyone. Exactly. What everyone? Where? Where? How? The jobs are not out there. I mean, uh, well, the opportunity also. Remember, under capitalism, you have opportunity, but you have to have the money to invest. Yeah. Capitalism. Yes. You got the, it. Benefits those with capital. Right. That's why it's called capitalism. If you mm -hmm. don't have capital. You if you're not a fat cat, you think a bank is going to give you uh, an adequate business loan? Nope. And then you have to stick your neck out and you have to put that money at risk and hope your business survives. You know, it's a... Uh, of course, if you're a silver spooner, if you're a second generation rich kid, you know... You mean like G.W. Bush? Donald Trump. You have a big head start if you're one of them. Huge head start. Anyway, let me bang out a little promo, being that William Morrow is not here. <clears throat> if you're wondering, how is, what is the best way to join our organization and to be a part of our organization? Everything we do, our talk shows, the radio show on the Pirate Radio Network, um, the, the, the Facebook groups, Everything we do is based on what I'm about to show you that was founded in 1977 by the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman, my co-host and mentor that you hear. Uh, this is it, Newsletter Censored. This is the best way to join our organization. So go to newslettercensored.com, click on the printable order for, form, and with your um, gift to support this work, get your free annual subscription to Newsletter Censored. Okay, Newsletter Censored is one of a kind. There's nothing like Newsletter Censored out there. Uh, you're not going to read this information in the mainstream media. Never. And uh, it, it will give you the hard-hitting truth that most people are afraid to hear. Can you handle it? So get your subscription now, free annual subscription with your gift to support this work, Newsletter Censored. And uh, the link to our uh, Mega Life 21 Hard Hitting Truth Internet Talk Radio Station is at the top of NewsletterCensored.com. So get it. And I'm very proud of our Facebook groups and the <coughs> Newsletter Censored Facebook page where you can go there and click like and be a part of that. You know, it's uh, it's growing so fast. People are joining left and right from all over. Um, and uh, I had a couple right-wing trolls mm -hmm. flamers that would occasionally come in and <laughs> not, 
It's like a little moth is buzzing around my head. Mm -hmm. Must have got it in, came in the door must last have night. Must have came in last night. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so glad the yellow bug light is keeping him away. Sure. Um, yeah. So anyway, uh, I <laughs> the trolls do not like to go and post things on our page because I just tear him a new asshole. Mm -hmm. You know, with facts with fact not not with name calling even though they like to resort to name calling well this uh, friend that I went to school with not on Facebook all the time that's what he does now he's calling now he's calling me and anything that I would support or whatever on American okay so what is American uh, ah. letting, letting the poor die uh, well, let's see. He put up there yesterday, day before, whatever. Um, he wants welfare beneficiaries to be drug tested if he has to be drug tested by his business. Well, my friend, the only reason that you would need to be dr uh, drug tested by your corporation or business where you're working for is because you allowed them. That's why I tell them to kiss my ass. It's, it's, but we can't do that, it's can we? It's kind of a private matter, right? Yeah, T but we can't do that because we're dependent on them, aren't we? Because for our th there's no options. For our bread. Our daily bread. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, back in the day, everyone's work belonged to them and they, you know mm. and you 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 created your own food you know people lived on family farms and you know as soon as everybody left the farms and moved to the cities dur during the industrial revolution which those people call freedom it wasn't freedom yeah it that, was dependency with that that greedy miserable bastard jp morgan who uh who, who liked child labor and uh and of course, uh, you know, he he, uh, he bought out uh, the corporate suck up Thomas Edison instead of going with uh, Nikola Tesla because Edison wanted to sell his electricity. Well, according to right wing supporters of big business today, those people never made any money. J.P. Morgan, Dale Carnegie, uh, the, the, the Standard Oil, uh, what do you mean? they never made any money. Compared to today. Oh, yeah, in comparison. Yeah. Well, hey, Babe Ruth and Lou Gehrig uh, didn't make any money. Oh, well, that, no, that's different. Compared it, to athletes today. Relative, millions of dollars back then, yeah. relatively speaking, was equivalent to billions today. So if you were, in, in the 1920s, if you made your first million... In, in American dollars, where the American dollar was really worth a uh -huh. hundred pennies, you know, it was really worth that much. And uh, you know, if you made your first million, you were you were a full fledged millionaire. Yes, indeed. That's all it took. Yes, indeed. But now, but today, I mean, you could you could live a decent, you can live a reasonably decent life with a million if you invest it properly well but not you're not you're not like a millionaire you can't walk around like a big shot if you only have one million where yeah. where is Bill Gates where is he ever going to be able to spend his tens of billions of dollars he won't. He won't even make a dent in his asset value, uh, his, his net asset value. He won't even make a dent in it. Bill Gates. Uh, so how that, rich? How rich do these? They, yet they want more. But how rich do these fat cats need to be to to be content? <laughs> well, how much do they need? You know, I mean. Uh, their money is making their income doesn't come from hard work. Their yeah. their their money is making money for them. Lazy money making. You know, so don't let lazy rich. Don't let any Republican fool you by telling you that you know, uh, oh, they work hard for their money <laughs> and, and they don't want to subsidize the poor, the lazy poor. 
and uh, you know all this crap and they hate unions and you know let me tell you something their money's making money for them so their money's not like hard-earned money harder harder in income at all yeah, today just, the George Bush administration did they lowered the capital gains tax so they're making even more money from their money the, the richest people cry the most they all cry poverty they, they all want to protect what they got they don't want to be given away 91 percent like they once had to to be defanged yeah well hey look at the wrestling promoters when I used to work for uh, indie circuit pro wrestling they all cry to the to the workers to the wrestlers that uh, Oh, yeah, all these all these expenses I had, we, we didn't sell enough tickets, you know, I had to pay the star, and wah, 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 wah. I don't have any money to give you, I'm sorry. I don't did they uh, They say, all lie, man. Huh? Did they happen to say that uh, wages were tax deductible? And those expenses? Corporations never tell anybody that wages are tax deductible. Hmm. They never mentioned that part. She uh, Fox News, of course, never mentions it. Um, when when the uh, mainstream media interviews a Republican, that never comes up at all. Uh -huh. uh, if a Republican's bitching and moaning about unions and uh, and uh, oh, we don't like the minimum wage mm. and uh, we uh, all this crap, it never comes up that labor's tax deductible. Yeah, wonder why? Because then now you're dealing with the truth. Mm -hmm. Facts, and that doesn't make their case uh, uh, any better, does it? No, they. The only thing they can say is one or two things. They can either call you names, insult you, or they can go hum and hum and hum and hum. Like Jackie Gleason on the honeymooners. Because there's no comeback. Well, once you give somebody the absolute true facts, how can you come back with facts against that? Well, that's why you have to have your own echo chamber like Fox News and CNBC to give out your propaganda. See? Well, I'm glad that's what they've done. I'm glad that we have uh, an MSNBC, uh, you know, but like you said, only only a certain segment of the population watches these two uh, cable channels. You know, but the thing of it is, with the right wingers, like with Gary, no, only a certain percentage watch, listens to him. The right wingers, they not only listen to Fox News or CNBC, whatever you're talking about, they have the ability, because they've done it, and put together these think tanks and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, their propaganda goes a long way. They get it. Why, why do you think this is the friend, like I told you up on Facebook? Every single day, he's got posts up there from the right wing. Well, he's getting them from somewhere. Ready made. Yeah. Ready made. All you do is share them, baby. Yep. You know? Yep. I mean, I mean, the internet is such a beautiful, easy way to advertise and promote your agenda and uh, being that everybody's glued to their computer or PC or laptop it's just a fast great way you know and then you have all these um, promo pages that you know they let you have one free promo page now at one time the Facebook promo page was visible to the public just like that uh, that boring MySpace you know I mean it was visible you didn't have to log into Facebook with a with an account mm. you did not have to have an account it was visible to the public which is great because then your promo page was like a web page but they did away with that now you have to have an account which means you have to submit your some of your personal information to uh. Facebook bloodsucker Zuckerberg, vampire bat. Now you see where I'm, where I'm getting. You know, and uh, it's a racket. It's all rigged. Like I, I tried to explain to Billy Morrow, it's all rigged. Yep. The system is rigged. Um, I was gonna say something else. Uh, 
enlighten you to some, uh -huh. something I heard. Um, well, let's, let's see if it comes back to me. Let us sink our teeth back into these readings. You got the Christie one, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. We who know Mr. Christie are aware that he underwent secret weight loss surgery in February. Yeah, it took the lazy way out. And did not discuss it publicly until the New York Post wrote a story about it in May. Yeah. <clears throat> but the governor has also tried to make light of his weight during appearances on late night television, to make including... Light of his, no pun intended, to make light of his weight. Okay. Ha ha ha! Yeah. Including pulling a donut out of his pocket during a February appearance on the late show with David Letterman. Yeah, that's what Barbara Bruno meant. You're, you're great on late night TV, but not for New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. On the campaign trail, now, seeking a second term, Christie 51 has kept up a busy schedule and appears slimmer. The Record, which is our local big newspaper, interviewed bariatric experts for a story last month who said the governor appears to have lost anywhere from 35 to 70 pounds. Yeah. Well, I can tell you he didn't lose no 70 pounds. No. Okay? Yeah. Sorry about that. Bariatric would be a, a, a physician that specializes in, in weight control, all right? Bari bariatrics, for those of you that don't know. A spokesman for Christie has refused to comment on his weight loss. But the governor said in a recent interview on CBS uh, that he is more than halfway to his weight loss goal. He doesn't look it. He declined to say how many pounds he has shed. Christie's hmm. weight was an issue in the 2009 gubernatorial campaign, and some have questioned whether it could affect his potential presidential candidacy in three years. And earlier this year, he accused Democratic challenger Barbara Bono, an avid runner, of making a crack about his weight during a campaign event. She's an athlete. She's an athlete. She's in great shape. The issue also came up on October the 8th during the first gubernatorial debate. And both candidates pledged to release their medical records. And I'm sure Barbara did it immediately. In a report released earlier this month, Bono's doctor said she weighs 124.6 pounds. She's just a little girl. She's solid. No, she's, you see the muscles in her neck when she was debating Christie? Ooh. The, the vascularity? She had the veins popping out. She's, she's, I bet she's got a good uh, low uh, resting heart rate, you know, like an athletic. Oh, if she's running, I guess so. Resting heart rate, yeah. And she is in excellent health. Although she has high cholesterol. Well, yeah, well, Christie's about 400 pounds of cholesterol. She does not need medication to treat it. Christie's medical summary indicates he has asthma. Something many New Jersey residents, residents learned of in June 2011 after he had an attack. Well, it's, uh, uh, asthma is a form of allergy. It's severe, very severe form of allergy. You that know. led him to cancel public events and spend a day at Somerset Medical Center in Somerville, New Jersey. Yeah, of course, all that weight doesn't help the asthmatic. The gov he probably has sleep apnea, too. Yeah, yeah, well. The governor also has dealt with hypertension. <coughs> really? Wow, look, look at him in the past two years. 
It did not say if any medications he is taking, but did say both conditions are well controlled. That means he's on something. Thank you. The medical summary shows the governor's health to be as good as or better than that of most 50-year-olds despite his weight. A cardiologist who reviewed the document and is not involved in Christie's care said on Friday. Uh, I might I might add that um, Bill Clinton went to the doctor and was given a clean bill of health. And lo and behold, something like a week later, he was in for bypass surgery. Christie has no plaque buildup in the arteries of his heart which places him at extremely low risk of developing heart attack. Dr. Louis Teichholz, chairman of cardiology at Hackensack Universal Medical Center. Hackensack University Medical Center, yeah. <clears throat> it's reassuring. Teichholz categorized Christie's blood pressure as superb and cholesterol levels as excellent. He must be a Republican that wants to, to see Christie become president. But the report noted that the governor is losing weight steadily and exercises four days a week. Exercises? Yeah, he does uh, fork forklifts, you know, <laughs> uh, uh, he does fork, elbow bends. Elbow bends with, you know, Putting the fork on the fork and lifting it up to his mouth. Bicep. Putting, yeah, a, f a form of short bicep <laughs> curl with the fork. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what he does. Curls with the bicep. Yeah. He is doing the right things. Uh, oh, sure, for, for his rich friends. If you want to prevent heart disease, the best steps are lifestyle modification. There you go. If he continues to do all these things, he'll do very well. It was unclear from the report whether Christie's low cholesterol numbers are the result of weight loss, an exercise following his lap band surgery, or drugs, or a response to medication. You know, if Christie really adhered to lifestyle change, he wouldn't need the, uh, what do you call it? The, the surgery, the uh, bypass. Yes, if what he would have learned it? to cut the carbs. Lap band? Lap band. He yes. would not require the lap band surgery on the stomach. You just simply modify your, your food intake and, 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 and start with uh, somebody uh, as heavy as Christy. Start with walking, brisk walks daily. You know, walking without stopping and, you know, without interruptions, you know, and just start with that. And then later on, you know, uh, do strength training. Uh, anyway, yeah, I don't know. It's like the lazy way to, to lose the weight, you know, just get get your stomach uh, shortened or whatever. Rubber banded. Dr. Teichold said his blood pressure is more than likely due to medication. I figured that if he got that surgery, then chances are his blood pressure is controlled by medication. If he were my patient, yeah. I'd be telling him to control salt intake. What about sugar? And practice active relaxation techniques such as breathing <sighs> exercises and yoga. I can see Christy doing yoga. Give me a break. He's lucky if he can. Uh, can he do the snake? Can he do? He's lucky if he if he can. The touch, little baby. He's lucky if he can touch his knees. <laughs> and you want him to do yoga? He's lucky he can get on his knees. Usually, and, and if he gets on his knees, he needs like a few people to get him back on his feet. Yeah. You know, I mean, hypertension is usually a sign that uh, something's wrong with your plumbing. Yeah, with the vessels. But he just said that the his, his vessels are clear. And where's the high blood pressure from? 
Christy has never smoked. Well, that's good. And has no family history of premature heart disease. Most of the people his age are walking around with much higher risk factors. He's now doing all the things that are necessary to continue to prevent problems in the future. He's just obese and he's not doing it the natural way. I, I, I disagree with what he's doing. His long-term prognosis of staying away from cardiac disease for a long, long time is very good. Well, if he was, if he was under my supervision, I would uh, get Gorilla duct tape and tape his mouth shut, <laughs> or crazy glue his jaw shut, <laughs> instead of uh, uh, putting a band around his stomach. No, seriously. I would totally modify and change his, his diet and lifestyle, period. I wouldn't have his, his uh, I wouldn't do any <laughs> surgery on his stomach. You know, he's just, and have him do brisk walking. You know, and uh, walking is something, you know, it's underrated. You're not, you know, it's not like what bodybuilders do or weightlifters do, but it's, for people like him, it's a great exercise, and it's still one of the f finest exercises nice. known to man. And you could do it with your significant other, you know. You could you could do it at a lovely park, and uh, you just uh, time yourself, and uh, you start off with 20 minutes, then a half hour, then 45 minutes <laughs> with a uh, fast, non-stop uh, walking. That's it. There's a town, city, in Pennsylvania, and also San Francisco, where they're both hilly. There you go. And the people in there have very, very, very low heart disease because of all the walking and stuff that they do. You go With straight, then you go hills. up a hill, and yeah. it's, more, it's a lot more challenging, of yeah, course, up correct. a hill. Then you go down the hill which is a piece of cake, which gives you a little rest after you went up the hill, and then you might go straight again, then you might go up another hill. Oh, yeah. It's like uh, people who, who uh, jog on the beach. It's more challenging. There's more oh, resistance. Yeah, there's more resistance. Because of the sand. Now, <clears throat> I mentioned uh, the fact the uh, amount of moolah, approximately, that the shutdown the government shutdown cost the economy quite a bit somewhere is over 24 billion dollars oh gee look at all the look at hmm that's a lot of money a lot of moolah and i was challenged wow. by some right winger oh where did you get that figure okay so republicans the, can do no wrong to these idiots the federal government's partial shutdown cost Mark Epstein, who purchased the IHOP restaurant on Route 17 in Hasbrook Heights earlier this year, nearly $10,000. Oh, that Epstein. I don't like that place. They shrunk the ham. Uh, the, the, the pancakes are smaller. I, I won't go there anymore. Well, if they did renovation, my friend, they have to make the money back. I don't give a shit. Hey, I make real good homemade pancakes from scratch, man. Sourdough, whole grain, buttermilk. I'm sorry, no. Sourdough, whole grain, pumpkin pancakes. Pumpkin? I got it on YouTube. I make them, and my pancakes are big. They're not small like the IHOP. They're flapjacks. Yeah, they're Paul Bunyan style flapjacks. <laughs> anyway, continue with this jabroni. Mr. Epstein had applied for a 1.6 million dollar U.S. Small Business Administration guaranteed loan to refinance the eatery. Eatery. And his application, I used to always go to uh, IHOP. And I ordered only one thing, the Philly cheesesteak, without peppers. Actually, they have a um, they have a rather uh, uh, decent um, uh, lunch and dinner menu besides the uh, 
the breakfast. I mean, the reason the prices are not that bad. You know, they're uh, they're not bad. Friendly's ice cream. You know, Friendly's has a uh, great breakfast value and, and lunch and dinner meals too. Anyway, his application. What happened? At the Small Business Administration was one of hundreds whose processing was held up when the government closed down for 16 days. Really? Because he didn't get his Small Business Administration approval sooner, he couldn't finish his financing, refinancing. The delay in the closing cost me another month's fees, said Epstein. After the 16-day government closure, the SBA, Small Business Administration, is facing a backlog of loan applications that piled up nationally and in North Jersey, where eight have been granted since the shutdown ended. According to the agency, Epstein's was among those just approved in Bergen and Passaia counties. During the shutdown, there were 700 applications, totaling $140 million filed for Small Business Administration 7A loan guarantees nationwide. Since government operations resumed on October the 17th, the SBA has been scrambling to process those applications which provide capital for entrepreneurs to start companies or expand their businesses. You know, that's the backbone of the American economy. Oh, yeah, but the, they shut down and they said it wouldn't hurt anybody. It hurt the little guy. Oh! The small they conveniently forget about that. That's my point because in Because the people that own them are not the small businesses. And you know what? And you'll probably not believe this. Yeah. Because it's impossible to actually wrap your brain around. But the big businesses are actually, they don't like competition of any kind. Yeah, well, back, I, back in the days of Reagan, he used to talk about how monopolies were bad. Monopolies are actually... Uh, uh, welcome today. But under Reagan and Clinton, you had all of these mergers. And what are mergers? When you mean monopolies. buyouts, but huh? monopolies. Yeah. You, you you buy out uh, companies that are not as wealthy as you, and you take over. It's like uh, the it's like tentacles. You know, you just take over and. Uh, and, uh, and the first thing you do is fire a bunch of people. That, that's probably what I meant when I read about consolidating, taking over other business and consolidating the workforce, which means laying off. We have to let you, I'm so sorry, you, you, you've been such a long time loyal employee, but we have to let you, let you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah let you go. So, you know, you, uh, you're unemployed as a... Um, as a layoff person, as a laid off. Yeah. And then you'll have to go and get uh, unemployment insurance for a certain term, and you'll have to pay taxes on that. But the rich don't have to pay taxes. And they don't even pay uh, Social Security taxes after a hundred and, what is it, uh, $13,000 or whatever? Then why do these stupid asses that don't have a pot to piss in in America continue to vote for people that only help the rich. They continue to believe these lies about job creation. Don't they realize that the fat cats don't pay any taxes or they pay very little? Don't they realize that all these small businesses are, are being strangled and hurt? And why do they continue to blame government? Everything is government's fault. Even the the conspiracy theorists and a lot of libertarians, they blame government. the government. Everything's Obama's fault. Yeah. Well, who is the government? The government is supposed to be us. Not supposed we to be. the people. 
Looks like but it ain't they. Today it's a plutocracy. Looks like the, the corporations and the rich. Looks like the government seems to be owned by the Republican Congress. Well, they're not owned by it right now, but they, they own the House. Oh, that's right. The Senate is... The Senate is still Democrat. It's not... Uh, they. They would need 60, but they don't have 60. What do, why, what do you think is causing them to get their way so much? Who, the House? The House. Obstruction. Yeah. you got to have, uh, you know, a meeting of the minds to do anything. If a bill is made in the Senate, it has to go over to the House. They have to have a conference on it. they got to amend it and fix it up and this, that, and so the other So they thing. have a ping pong and game. And then they send it to Obama. It bounces back and forth for a while in Congress. Then it goes to Obama, and Obama either says yeah, veto or sign. yes or veto. Yeah. And if, it, if he says veto, it, it goes back to the Senate again, back to the House. So if the House is just concentrating on making up stupid bills, like uh, defunding Obamacare 40 sometimes, and keeps sending that to the Senate, and the Senate rejects it, nothing gets done. But it, it is a privatized program, Obamacare. They're, yes, private, they're private insurance companies. It was companies. made by the Heritage Foundation, which is a right-wing think tank. And then Mr. Romney puts it in effect in Massachusetts. Uh. But old Romney, when he was on the campaign trail, he was against it. Because I think... His any, own bill. I think anything that... Any brainchild that comes from a Democrat is going to be... Uh, demonize automatically. Well, uh, yeah, that goes back to your question of why the Republicans, the conservative uh, idiots, don't ever vote for s someone else. They will never vote for a Democrat. Because Democrats have been demonized all these years as baby killers, secular humanists, and atheists. Does, and doesn't this reflect just how how small of a mind these, these Americans really have? Well, you're being very generous, because I do not consider they have minds. They certainly do not have open minds. Oh, no. No, they're, they're extremely narrow-minded, and they're extremely foolish, because it, 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 it's not rocket science to look at the facts and realize that uh, the right wing does not have your best interests unless you're wealthy. But if you maintain that the facts are actually coming from Fox News and CNBC. Right. Well, then you are, as the Bible says in Revelation 12, 9, my friend, you are deceived. And there is no hope for you. Well, I'm starting to see more and more that the these predictions in the Bible for the end times coincide perfectly with what's going on today. 2 Timothy uh, describing how people will become in the end times right on the money um, yes. uh, rapid knowledge the high technology uh, the acceleration of knowledge will advance very <laughs> fast in the end times that's ha that's happened definitely I mean uh, um, robotics you know I mean everything all the science fiction is slowly or quickly Humans becoming science come. becoming science fact Humans have come to Matthew 24. If the intercession of Jesus Christ did not happen, there would be no flesh saved alive. We are now capable of annihilating the human population from the earth. Period. Period. You mean with all the nuclear warheads that are owned by everyone? Not even all of them. Just a small portion of them. I mean, the United yeah. States has more warheads to and, kill people eight, you know, I don't know how many and, times and, over. And what about uh, biological warfare? All of it. Uh, a chemical warfare? All of it. Uh, what, what's, what's going on with, I mean, how they're damaging the Earth's atmosphere and pollution? Everything collectively. We have the ability to annihilate life on this planet many many times over, right? Mm -hmm. Many times over. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, um, sad situation, and it's all because of a very ancient 
flaw in humanities since the beginning. Uh, the Small Business Administration uh, did not know how many of the 700 applications are pending for companies in Bergen and Passaic counties. A Mr. Al Titone, the SBA District Director for the Garden State, said. Titone, who is based in Newark, said that until those applications are processed, his office has no way of knowing how many were submitted by North Jersey entrepreneurs. There's obviously a backlog. How many of ours are in the backlog? I don't know. Yeah, and, 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 and do they actually think the Republicans care about the applications of entrepreneurs no, they do not. or small business people? No, Absolutely not. not. No, they do not. During the four-day period since the federal shutdown ended through Tuesday, the SBA processed and approved eight loan applications for North Jersey, seven in Bergen for $304 million and one in Passaic for $1.1 million. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we didn't. Nobody was inconvenienced by the shutdown, according to the right way. Uh, before it gets lost again, you just found a small one. This is my little one from last week that disappeared. Oh yeah, floor. yeah, yeah, yeah. Read that, please. <laughs> A, a European Union draft report says olive oil, fish, and organic food are subjected to fraud more than any other foods. You mean like bogus label information? Uh, no, I wouldn't know I, if I you want to call like it bogus, that. but I, uh, I heard that most of the Italian olive oil that we think of as Italian is from Spain. Oh, I knew that. Is that bogus? Oh, no. Fraud? I, that's old hat. I, I always knew that the, um, the famous uh, Italian olive oil companies uh, get their olives from, from Spain. They get it cheaper. Well, I would say that's fraud, isn't it? Yeah, because it's not Italian olive oil. Yeah, the and company's it's Italian. Sold as that. Look, no matter how you shake it, I've had Middle Eastern olive oil that, that far surpassed any Italian olive oil. I've had um, olive oil from Spain that said from Spain on the label that was extra virgin and it was great. Yeah, I used to buy that one in that, uh, that fancy bottle. Nice to get the Pathmark one back in the day. No, it was the brand name. It was in like a... Uh, um, Bertoli? No, it was in Spain. Spanish. Espanol. Oh, Goya. Goya, that's it. Listen, that listen, fancy listen. Fancy bottle looked like that aftershave. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what the yeah. hell's the name of that blue aftershave? Uh, Clubman. Pinot. No, no, no. No? No. no. The cheap Aqua Velva? Aqua Velva. <laughs> it was shaped that's like an Aqua Velva? kind of it looked like, yeah. Listen. <clears throat> All the areas you just meant, mentioned have one thing in common. There are they're bordering on the Mediterranean. They are Mediterranean countries with the same climate, more or less, and the olives flourish in that environment. So anywhere you could grow olives, you can make the same olive oil, and uh, and and all the all that valuable uh, medicinal value from the olive leaves. Don't forget that. Uh, that's another talk show. But anyway, the point is, what you're saying is that, well, you're, what you're reading is something that is kind of false advertisement, but it, it doesn't affect the quality of the product itself. The, what I read was that um, yeah, some but what if you go, you're saying you got olive oil there and you're putting in canola oil? This is where I'm getting at. Yeah. Uh, some people were allowed to sell the public blends 
olive oil blends and call it olive oil, yeah. which goes back to the, the corruption, the crookedness of the of the Republicans. And then so in uh, tilapia for flounder. Trying to pass off tilapia for something else. Uh, genetically modified, so some supermarkets are selling the new genetically modified farm-raised salmon. Do and not course, buy any farm-raised fish. Calling things organic, that ain't. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, you should get what the label says. I believe it was is California. I'm not certain now. But I believe California, or is it Los Angeles, Parker, some place is going to be a GMO free zone. No GMOs, thank you. I salute that and of yeah, course whatever it is. Of course I salute Jerry Brown making industrial hemp legal in California and I read some information which I posted about hempcrete which is concrete uh, um, made with hemp. It's far superior to um, traditional standard concrete. Concrete. Well, in the old days, they made for building. You know those big uh, ropes for ships and everything. That was made from hemp. Oh yeah. Those huge. Oh, like you mean like the yeah. Where you tie them up to the dock. Sure, know? sure. I mean they uh, they uh, the old days when they build uh, stone houses, they 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 mixed uh, like straw with uh well look the the building of the pyramids uh, remember the the movie uh the ten commandments they were mixing straw with mud mortar for mortar, mortar you know they were mixing a straw i mean so uh well in ireland they made the huts with shit poo poo they did yeah they mixed shit with yeah really yeah poo poo well, I know, I know. In Ireland, they use uh, dehydrated blocks of peat moss in their fireplace for cooking, and they and in Mongolia well, they well, use. Well, in Norway, they 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 throw the shit in the fire for the smokehouse. Well, I just, huh. I, <laughs> I just, uh, I, I watched uh, the Mongolians use uh, the uh, the manure from from their livestock. They dry it out in the sun and they use it for cooking. That's yeah, exactly. Hey, you gotta go where well, you gotta go. You know what I mean? Or relocate. Necessity is the mother of invention. Or relocate. How many people can do that? Yeah. How, why did? Why do the Inuits, the uh, the Eskimos, why? What on earth made them decide to stay <coughs> in north of the Arctic Circle? Ooh. It's beyond me. In fact, the report says. Beef is less risky, despite the scandal early this year over beef tainted with horse meat. Behind olive oil, fish, and organic food, the other top foods, ten foods, are milk, grains, honey, maple syrup, coffee, tea, spices, wine and fruit juices so those are the other foods that are frauds or get tainted or something going wrong with them i don't i don't usually uh drink soup uh i mean market fruit juices because first of all they're pasteurized which kills all the enzymes yeah. uh I, the only thing i drink is is a cranberry juice cocktail because it's mostly cranberry you could taste that it's it's low sugar I mean, you can't miss it. It's so damn tart, you know. Uh, but uh, uh, other than that, in general, I do not drink uh, any bottled fruit juice, you know. So um, uh, we got time for one on more. On to a lighter subject, if you don't mind. Yeah, go ahead. I read about the endangered bog turtle okay. with great interest. Oh yeah, you mentioned you had something about the bog turtle. Yes, I did. This same species was identified as living on the United Water Company property adjacent to the Hackensack River in New Milford. In a report presented to Bergen County in 1992. Uh-huh. 
when the old Hackensack Water Company was preparing to turn over ownership of this area to the county. Your report states that one of the greatest threats to these turtles is development. And other creatures, you know, native creatures. This is one of the many reasons that so many of us from New Milford are fighting to prevent the S. Hakamian group from being granted variances to build a huge commercial development on the Suez United Water property adjacent to New Milford High School. And let me guess why they want to build there. Because waterfront property costs so much more than non-waterfront property and they stand to make a bundle because of the water. The New Milford Environmental Commission asked for an independent environmental impact study to be performed to determine whether there are any endangered species on this site and to forestall any further damage to the environment in New Milford. All right, we're talking about New Milford, New Jersey. New Milford, Not to New be confused with, confused with West Milford. Because no. New Milford, New Jersey is not far from us. So what you're saying is there are well, bog... Yeah, the Hackensack Water ain't far from us. There are bog turtles. Somewhere in the area. Not just snapping turtles, but there are bog turtles in there too. Yeah, I didn't know there were any, any other species left. They also want to determine whether there is any industrial contamination on this property. The State Department of Environmental Protection issued a letter of no further action in 2010. But the Environmental Commission is asking for an independent study based on the track record of the DEP. Mahwa and Garfield are just two of the communities that fell the all clear from the DEP. Hopefully this independent study will occur and protecting an endangered species will be instrumental in preserving the last open space left in New Milford. So they found they found the contamination after they got the, the okay that it was okay. safe. It reminds me of uh, many years ago, I was living in Garfield, New Jersey, and I noticed that the, uh, the tap water was coming out of the faucet like a milky white. Yeesh. And I called the uh, Garfield Water Works, the water company, and the guy said to me in this voice, I asked him, is the drinking water, I mean, is the tap water safe? It's coming out cloudy and whitish. The guy goes, of course it's safe. You can drink it. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to believe somebody that sounds like that. Of course it's safe. Of course you can drink the water. <laughs> Did you drink the water? No. Hell no. I didn't even filter it. <laughs> yeah, of course you can, you can drink the water. Hey, water is water. Yeah, water. Yeah, I, I do a lot of great uh, uh, voices. You know, I do a lot of great voices, uh, but uh, so you 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 haven't seen the commercial with the the Dick Tracy watch becoming a reality? No, but I saw something the other day where they were showing the the genesis of these instruments that we now have today, and of course the the Dick Tracy watch at that time was only a fantasy; it was yeah. not real. Oh, was that the documentary where they actually showed, they how, showed all the different just how big the computer was back in the day? It filled up a whole room and had like vacuum tubes. And I didn't see that, but I just saw that one invention led to, led, led to another, to another, to the another. The evolution another. of... And now, we, and now we got the iPhones, you know, to take your yeah. pictures and all this other crap. Well, let me tell you something. Let me, let me tell all you inventors out there in the world, be very careful. No one steals your invention. Don't oh, because don't, they love to. Don't trust the company. Good God. Don't never trust the corporation. They'll steal your invention. One, two, three. Why? One, really quick. They not only steal it the, today, they, they, they beg you to come to them with your invention. Yeah, we'll help get you started. Yeah, they'll start you all right. Start you out the door while they got your invention. 
hey, they did it to this guy who made this wrench, this multi-wrench. And Sears used to sell it for I, him. I remember that. Well, wrench. then Sears went and made their own. And they kicked the guy out. What a bunch of blood-sucking, miserable of bastards. Yeah. Now, do you see... So it's not, it's not a... You know, they do it. Do you see that how the pattern of human nature hasn't changed? Well, of course not, because human nature, according to the Bible, is the devil's nature. What a miserable creature hum humanity is. And then you got these people out there posting things about how, oh, how wonderful people, you know, the, the, there's a lot of great people out there. Oh, well, yeah, there's great people out there. But... But... But As the Bible says, we are all evil. Well, there's a lot of a lot of people put it on. It just takes like you're a million dollar man. Yeah. It just takes the right situation. The right price. Or the right price. I mean, I mean, oh, there's a lot of facades, of phony facades, out there. You know, when you meet somebody, you know, they're smiling, they shake your hand, they look you in the eye, but that doesn't mean anything that doesn't mean well, it anything. does if they're behind your back they got a knife coming in then yeah. you better look out or or if they're in sheep's clothing but in reality they're as ravenous as as wolves which is from the Bible yes. yeah I mean uh, beware you know uh, hey at one time <coughs> even uh, uh, Satan was a real angel of light at one time he was a covering cherub. His wing, and I guess it was Michael's wing. Or Gabriel. No, it wasn't Gabriel. It had to be the two higher, the higher ranked ones. Higher rank. Yeah, Gabriel was like more or less a, a messenger. He's, he's the, the third of that rank. He's cherubim. The, he's the grand messenger. Yeah, the archangels. Archangels. So a cherubim, a cherubim is another word for archangel? Yeah. Okay. But I presume he and Michael, Lucifer and Michael's wings touched behind God's throne of the ark. They were on the ark of the covenant. The ark of the covenant, yes. In which was the Ten Commandments, the tablets. Yes. A a uh, rod, a rod, staff. Like a scepter? A I mean, rod. A rod. Indicating, uh, what the hell, whatever. Moses. And I think something else was in there. But anyway, it, it was a, a, it was a replica of God's throne. Maybe that was the staff the of, ark. Maybe that was the staff of Moses. The rod. Well, yeah, probably, because that's when they, you know, went around with the ark. Yeah. That would but be then something. the Philistines stole it, I believe, and then we have no nothing since Indiana Jones. Well, the uh, the actual spear that pierced the side of Jesus by, by the Roman, I heard that spear was saved, and uh, it's somewheres. This is relic creed, the, uh, Ro which the Roman Catholic Church is love. And what about the Holy... We got bones of St. Thomas. We got the, this and the... Blah, 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 blah. We got the jawbone of an ass. We got... They love relics. What about the Holy Grail, the, the cup that Jesus used during the Last Supper? Where is it? And I why don't know. Would we, we, and why should we, we be interested in it? It's somewhere. It's in merry old England, maybe? You know that Jacob Stone is in very old England. What's Jacob Stone? The stone under the throne. You mean it's Jacob's pillar stone? You mean he rested his head on it when he went to sleep. Is this a piece of the original Solomon's Temple? No, no. it is a stone which has traveled and been with all the kings oh that's right jacob is way before uh solomon correct jacob's name 
name was changed to Israel. Israel. And my name... Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The name James comes from the name Jacob. I don't know. I'm telling you. Well, I don't know. I don't know this. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. But, well, any, but anyway... Yeah. Anyway. These things collectively, what you're trying to say is part of relic worship? Yes, it's idolatry. So I heard somebody on TV the other day. Um, he was saying that he, uh, for some reason, whatever it was, he prays, and he prays to uh, the Virgin Mary, too. Ah. Yeah, she's, but... she's dead. Yeah, but she's she, dead, but taken she, to the dirt sleep. But, but why is he going to be praying but to her? Did the Bible ever say, ever say she was a deity? No, she's but a woman. The queen of Heaven does. She's a woman who, well, the Queen of Heaven originates from Babylon. That's correct. The paganism, and that's yeah. where that kind of worship comes from. She was just a mere mortal woman who was selected to become uh, to give birth to Jesus. That's yes. it. That's it. <clears throat> because the God, the Word, had to become human. They had to pick somebody. So they picked her. Yeah. And Gabriel was the, the messenger. Well, you see. know, the Catholic Church gave uh, supernatural powers to, to Joseph. And well, they to, didn't have them. And to to all these people who became saints later on and uh, blah blah blah. Well, they didn't have it. And if they, and here's a here's a contradiction. If they cared about such things that, that they, these saints became so powerful, the same, how come they had them killed? They were all martyred. Yeah. Yeah, eleven of them. And and they weren't they weren't rich and powerful. These these uh, disciples and everything so what th what threat could they possibly have been to the rich dictatorial leaders back then because that church became aligned with the emperors the government became married to the government and therefore had power was Simon Magus, Magnus? Or? He, Magus, was the the first of the Babylonian mysteries, which eventually ended you mean up the, the, being the Roman. The magical Catholic. mystery tour that the Beatles sang about? The magical mystery tour of a... No, but yeah. seriously, Magus was a. Uh, were, 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 the, were some of the disciples still alive during Simon and Magus? Absolutely. Mr. Simon Magus tried to buy the Holy Spirit and apostleship from Peter. He wanted him to sell out. He wanted that power to be able to heal, well, to be able to do this, that, and the other thing the that Peter and the other ones had. The only, the only one that wasn't executed was John, who was exiled to Pat. Pat Patmos, Patmos. The island of Patmos. But that's not the John. There were more than one John. That's not Baptist. No, of course not. You know. not so he uh, he was exiled to Pat, the island of Patmos, Pat or pa Pathos. Patmos, where Pat he wrote Patmos, Revelation. Where he wrote the book of Revelation. Okay. Yeah. Why? Well, hey, maybe Pat Patmos was a lovely island. You know. Maybe it was nice there. I believe he wrote it on toilet paper. Huh? Ring the bells. Oh. You know what to say, you know, you when you're in prison. No, he wasn't no paper, so you don't you use toilet paper. Well they didn't say he was imprisoned on the island, they said he was exiled to it. Well that's being in prison. Maybe it was a lovely island. Like they sent Napoleon to uh, Elbe, Elbo, Elba, yeah, where they invented the elbow macaroni, Elbe. 
I don't, I don't know. Well, well they the, sent him there he, to defang him. He was Corsa. <laughs> he was from Corsica. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, thank you for joining us for this week's progressive discussions. We'll see you next week. Da little Herb Alpert. Huh? What's that saying? Something, something, and the crypto rise. We'll see you next week. Yeah, we'll see you next week. Wish I had some uh, some of that uh, midnight moon uh, blueberry moonshine to clear my throat. Oh, you know, but anyway, uh, I anyway, say. A manuka, honey. Manuka. Manuka. I I can't afford all that yeah. organic. I can't afford that organic stuff from Whole Foods. And and and, and how do I know it's it's the real deal? With Mr. Mackey that runs that company. There you go. There you go. Now, how do I know uh, if I get That's if I problem. if I get key, uh, organic quinoa in the bulk section that if it's not a, a, a GMO quinoa from uh, from China? And that's the problem, isn't it? Do why, they grow GMOs in China? Why they get? Why they get the USDA and the FDA? They corrupt them so that they don't have to tell us the truth and say what's bad and what's good. So that the corporations can, can sell us anything they want. Any garbage. That's the regulation. Yeah, I, I say so long to these people. So long, people. All right.